You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Wow. In this day and time, it seems you cannot support a presidential candidate or a president without everybody losing their minds. Well, when it came to a certain orange-haired president, NFL players seem to turn even on their coaches. There's been a story that's come out, and guys, i got to be real. I think we've all experienced this at this point. I'm pretty certain I know what side of the fence most of our subscribers are on. Okay? Uh, I don't know if anybody's experienced the same thing I have, but I've lost a lot of friends over supporting Trump. I'm just going to keep it real. I didn't lose any friends over once supporting George W. Bush. Now, I don't support W. Bush now because I think we've seen him in his true colors. But it's amazing. And that's exactly what's wrong with this country right now is that people can't even support the political candidates they want to support anymore without it becoming a political issue, even at places like work. Like work. And at the end of the day, the National Football League is made up of organizations that provide employment to a lot of different people in the workforce that just happen to play football. Well, this story's come out from ESPN, Seth Wickersham, a guy that's covered the Patriots forever, and it seems there were Patriot players that turned on Belichick, Bill Belichick, because he supported number 45. I find this nuts. I absolutely, I cannot fathom. Look, I know a lot of people that support Biden, uh, and I just, it's never crossed my mind to end a friendship over somebody's uh, who they support politically. That wasn't a thing at one time. Well, now it's a thing everywhere. And I certainly would have, wouldn't have would have thought, well, I won't go to work today, or I don't want to work for this manager because I think they might support the other side of the aisle. Well, this is a common occurrence now, folks. It really is. Trump support caused several players to turn on Bill Belichick. ESPN reporter reveals... The ties to Donald Trump once ran deep through the New England Patriots, with the former president having a well-known friendship with owner Robert Kraft, head coach Bill Belichick, and ex-quarterback Tom Brady. In 2015, reporters spotted a MAGA hat in Brady's locker. We remember the fallout from that. The media lost their minds. The media. And don't think the media is not the biggest influence of all this. The next year, Trump read a letter of support from Belichick at a campaign rally. According to a new book from ESPN senior writer Seth Wickersham, several players, Patriot players, turned on Bill Belichick over his Trump support. Wickersham's It's Better to Be Feared is set to be published next month, a book that details the New England Patriots dynasty. The ESPN preview states... Current Miami Dolphins coach and former Patriots assistant Brian Flores noted that players were upset that Belichick encouraged him to address the team over his support for Trump. Why should he have to talk to the team about that? It's none of their damn business. Belichick did, but the meeting didn't go over well. Quote, I don't think he's an intolerant coach. He isn't a bad guy. Bill just effed up and justified it in a way that he would never accept from a player, an unnamed player recalls in the book. Is this a player he cut? I mean, do we know? Is there something personal there? While players may have lost respect for their head coach, Belichick's Trump support did not lead to any sort of coup. In fact, the Patriots were crowned as champions that season defeating the Falcons 34 to 28 after completing the largest Super Bowl comeback ever. We all remember that. It was awesome. Okay, so it's amazing. It's amazing. Think about this. 
The players wanted to revolt <laughs> at Belichick and were mad at him and wanted an explanation. felt like they were entitled to a reason he supported and was friends with Trump. Now, what the media won't le- let you know is that many of the people in Hollywood, many of the people in the media were, in fra- fact, friends with Trump at one time. They were friends with Trump at one time. But they won't let you know that. Okay? Even Hillary and Bill Clinton at one time were very good friends with Donald Trump. Donald has never really and truly pulled any political allegiances. Okay? He just goes out there, wants to work with whoever he needs to work with, and get a job done. That's all. Trump was a businessman. He also wasn't a politician, which is why so many people gravitated towards him. Okay? Well, can you imagine employees demanding an explanation of who you support as president? If somebody did that to me and worked for me and I've owned several businesses, I would fire their asses. Texas is at will. Well, you're, my at will would walk you out the door for something, asking me something that personal that's none of your business. And I damn sure don't owe you an explanation for it. But I think we've all experienced at this point We've lost friends over a red-haired president. It's crazy. It's absolutely ludicrous. I've never seen so many people get their feelings hurt over one person. What about this guy made, got your feelings, got yourself so far worked up into a dander that you've got to lose it, and now we found out Patriots players demanded an explanation? Well, you support Trump, and we want to know why. And I imagine... You know, it says here, well, Bill Belichick answered it in such a way that they would have never accepted. What he probably told them was, it's none of your business. That's probably what Bill Belichick said. And he probably said, you're not owed an explanation for who I support politically. This is everything that's wrong in society right now. Exactly what these Patriots players tried to pull. Now, it makes me wonder, who are these players? Is it somebody like Jamie Collins who used to be on the team? Chandler Jones that used to be on the team? I mean, look, it's just speculation. But you got to wonder. you got to wonder, yeah. Brady, Belichick, Kraft, they all support Trump. Uh, That's a, a known thing. So does Jerry Jones. So does Jerry Jones. I mean, it, it, how many of these owners in the NFL do you think don't support him? I mean, come on. Yeah, there might be two, three, or four that don't. I suspect Jed York in San Francisco probably is not a big Trump fan. But Jerry Jones, come on. All right, most, most, I did a story last year on this channel where several NFL owners had contributed behind the scenes to Republican campaigns. What does that say? They're businessmen. Of course they supported Trump. This is crazy to me. This is crazy that these players thought that they were owed something from Belichick over the fact that he supported Trump. Come on. Come on. You guys are so entitled. It's pathetic. These NFL players, they're becoming dangerously close to being as bad as any, anybody in the NBA. They really are. It's pathetic. Get over yourselves. Demand to know why somebody supports somebody else politically. Forget that. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. It's not surprising, to be honest. It's not. I mean, that's what this is what has uh, been created by the media. Okay, you're supposed to have this reaction to uh, finding out that somebody supported 45. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.